This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a multi lock interactive key and knob cylinder. I actually took this out with a particular purpose in mind. I plan to replace the core in a padlock I am preparing for personal use with this multi lock cylinder. That padlock this is going into is one of these Stanley 24 7 locks. I believe this is the model 8823. And I featured these in the past and noted that they really are excellent security values. This is a sub $20 lock with really some incredible features. And the pick resistance actually from the factory isn't that bad. We have a, a six pin core in there with a couple of serrated pins, an anti bump pin, some counter milling in the cylinder, and it actually has an ASTM rating which gives it eight minutes of pick resistance. Now, personally, I think that eight minutes is wildly optimistic, and I'd like something just a little bit more robust in there before I plan to use it. So, in fact, while we've got this out, why don't we, uh, why don't we pick this guy before we get to the multi-lock? Okay, as I do with most of these Schleg keyways, top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar, Let's find my standard hook in 25 thousandths. Here we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this guy open. Okay, click out of two, a little bit of movement on the core. Click out of three. Click out of four. Click out of five. Nothing on six. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, three. Click out of four, little movement on the core, nothing on five. Click out of six, back to the beginning. Click out of one, some counter rotation, another click out of one, I think that's it. Nothing on two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go, some movement on six. There we go, okay. So clearly not a easy lock to open, but also certainly not an eight minute lock. So we're going to be replacing that core with a multi-lock interactive key and knob cylinder. I actually don't have the key for this, but I do have some spare keys and some key pins that I can replace that I can replace the key pins in this lock with. I will not be showing you that process, however, because frankly, it's imprudent to show on YouTube the bidding for a lock I plan to rely upon. Okay, let's get this Z bar in there for our tension and start hunting for binding outer pins. Okay, one, I got several clicks out of it, felt like a serrated outer pin. I think we've got him set. Number two is our interactive chamber. Okay, again, lots of clicks. I think I got him set. Three is loose. Four. Okay, got four set. Again, felt like serrated. And five. Back to the beginning. Little click out of the outer pin on one. Nothing on two. Okay, three is binding now. Okay, got three set, nothing on four or five. Not sure what's holding us up on these outer pins. It's usually a good idea to check the number two chamber because they can hold us up be just because they're so high. They can be occasionally difficult to pick. And I think I just got him. I got a tiny bit of movement on the core. So let's start hunting for binding inner pins. Little click out of one, nothing on two. Little click on three, nothing on four. Okay, inner pin on five is definitely binding. Got him set. Back to the beginning, nothing on one, two, three, four, and five. Hmm. Be a little bit more careful. I'm so used to these multi locks. Sometimes I just fly through the pins without really giving them the attention they deserve. 
looking at each of the inner pins now. Okay, got to click on the inner pin on four. Nothing on five. I think I probably overset something. Let me release a tiny bit of tension. And see if that made a difference. Okay, three, got to click on the inner pin. Four, click on the inner pin. Nothing on five. Number one, click on the inner pin. We got a nice deep false set. Probably means we just have inner driver pins. Found one on number two, nothing on three. There we go, got one on four, got one on five, and this is open. So just a little bit harder to open than the, than the core that comes in that Stanley lock. Let's pull this guy apart. I'll show you what's inside. And then unfortunately, we are going to cut the video because you do not get to see the rekeying process. Sorry about that. Okay, I need to be careful not to relock this as I take this apart. So let me put that in there so I can keep a good grip on the, on the core. I'm using this new Sparrows follower that has a special tip on it for removing the caps on key and knob cylinders. Okay, and I think we should be able to slide this out now. Okay, let's drop the current key pins out. Okay, standard outer in one. Okay, seems like this is a little bit gummed up. Let me use a pick to help drop these pins out. Okay, these pins are definitely giving me a little bit trouble coming apart. Not seeing anything unusual, all standard inner and outer key pins. Okay, and then let's pull the driver pins out. And I'm expecting to see all serrated outer driver pins. And this is something that marks this as a relatively old lock. I usually don't see these in interactive, in multi-lock interactives. I usually only find them in the multi-lock classics. Okay, let me give you a close-up of this pinning. All standard key pins, both inner and outer pins. The outer driver pins are all serrated, and the inner driver pins are all standard. Moving over to the core. Nothing particularly unusual. If we look down the pin chambers, we can see the detent on the bottom of the lock in chamber number two. And that's what operates the interactive element of the key. Then we have drill protection above and below the keyway. And it looks like we are missing a ball bearing that should be right in front of pin stack number two. And I'll replace that before I put this lock back together. So that's all I have for you on this multi-lock interactive. It is going into a lock that I plan to personally use. They're not incredibly difficult locks to pick, but it's certainly enough pick resistance that I have confidence to use them in a lock that I'll rely upon every day. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please put them below. If you like the video and would like to see more like it, please, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.